Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So, today, what we're going to be doing is installing Windows 3.1 in VirtualBox. Yep, that's what we're going to be doing today. So get ready, folks, because this is going to be a wild ride. So, first... Oh yeah, by the way, every floppy disk I use in this video is going to be in the description. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. So, anyways, let's just begin. First, once you have downloaded and opened VirtualBox, which I will do a tutorial on how to download VirtualBox soon, basically what we want to do is click on New. For your for your virtual machine's name, we're just gonna go with Windows 3.1, and we're gonna I'm gonna pump up the memory to 128. Do that. Next, finish. Okay, cool. Now you're gonna go to settings. Go to storage, select this floppy drive, have this little drop down here, choose a disk file, and first we need to install MS-DOS, so yeah. Again, link will be in the description. Make sure disk 1 is inserted, click OK, and start it. And to improve your experience, I'm going to scale this to 175. Welcome to setup. Press enter to continue. Press enter. Enter. Now it's going to form as C. Enter. Just leave it as C DOS if you want to. And. And it's going to ask you for disk 2, so go to devices, floppy drives, choose the disk file, then go to disk 2, enter. And do that again, this time for disk 3. Then remove it, press enter, and enter again. And boom, MS-DOS is installed. Now it's time to install Windows. So once again, go up to devices, floppy drives, and go choose a disk file. Once again, the Windows 3.1 stuff is going to be linked in the description too along with the MS-DOS stuff. So select disk 1, okay, so now you just type A and setup to run setup. Welcome to setup, press enter to continue. We're going to press enter to do express setup. Now it's going to ask for disk 2. Just type your name. You don't have to type your company if you don't want to. Click continue. Continue again. Continue. Now, it's going to ask for disk 3, so just do disk 3, press enter, disk 4,
disc five. And disc six. Just select no printer attached. Oh, sorry about that. Let's just move my leg. Anyways, edit.com. Just select MS DOS editor. Okay. Just press skip tutorial. Now reboot it. Make sure to remove the floppy disk drive, then press any key, and type win to start it up. And boom, you now have Windows 3.1 on your computer. Thanks very much for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Bye.